this week on Team Baborn. So what I'm thinking of doing is what I'm going to call a power tower. I mean, how high can we go? I, mean, I don't know. Is there a build limit? I feel like this is a complete waste of resources and time at the level that we're at. But I just want to do it. <gasps> what have I done? I think I might have just absolutely killed my entire beaver colony. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Team Baborn with me, Biffer. Our little beaver colony is doing fantastically well. We've harnessed the power of the bad water over here because this is constantly running. So why would we not put some of these little uh, turbine, whatever thing is they're called, water wheels over here to get the power to really supplement our power over here that's not doing much at all? Why? <laughs> why is it completely died? How much power are we actually making? A supply in 600. We've only got a demand of 440. Let's just leave it as it is. The other thing we could do, which a lot of you have left comments about, is to make this area thinner through here. So this water really does just flow through that area where these are. So maybe that's something we will do. Okay, let's have a quick look here. Building lacks materials. So that's our herbalist herbalist with Trezan working hard in there. Well, I guess you're probably waiting for dandelions and paper. Paper. Are we not actually even making paper i've just seen that on there has that changed i'm sure that wasn't on there before because we're growing what's happened to our dandelions we planted loads of them because these are sunflowers has something changed in an update or something sunflower potato wheat cattail spadder dock what oh under here aren't they dandelion <laughs> Why have they gone? something's changed there isn't it that is really weird we're gonna up the priority on those there we go. Get going with that. Thank you very much. Oh, we've got this path over here that we haven't actually connected yet. Um, let's get this going. Get these peeps in here. Oh, thank you very much. Can we just delete this, please? There we go. We'll mark that for demolition. There you go. Something for you Americans there. We'll get this hooked up. So that's not a nice little shortcut around this way, which is good. So yeah paper how the heck are we making that i'm sure that's changed paper mill yeah, we don't even have it unlocked 250 we've got 565 science and it's basically just log to paper so i think we can unlock that there we go lovely jubbly and then oh look at that we have a space right here hooked up to everything else that will work lovely gears planks logs we've got gears we've got planks we've got logs do you know what? I think this will be okay once this gets going. Ah, oh, who we've got building this for us? Let's take a look. Oh, no comments. And Bimmer, two brand new patrons. Thank you very much for supporting uh, this channel and this series as well. Look at that. They're working hard. Very good, very good. And also, if you're a patron, you get to watch my new Satisfactory series, which is going really well too. So watch out for that. And suddenly, we've got a drought approaching in three days. I mean, I'm not overly concerned about that, to be honest. Let's see who's working at this paper mill for us techie mantis where were you oh you're coming over to work excellent thank you very much swim a little bit quicker will you past the statue of our oh, melanie we all remember melanie oh no there's melanie yes anyway moving on moving on more beavers more things going on um so you are going to be needing logs well we've got those hopefully stored nearby we've got them right there look at this thought oh. It's lucky in the way this looks. Got like rollers on the top, squishing the logs down into paper. Working at 39% efficiency. Is that suddenly just like tapped out our power? Oh yeah, the supply's down. I'll tell you what then, what we could try and do is get some of those drop battery things in. Now that could be something worth working towards. Power storage. Oh, we've got large windmills and we need a lot of, we haven't got enough science for that and we need some more science. Well, we've got three going, but I'm wondering whether we could try and beef up our science somewhat so observatory by exploring the stars beavers gain more knowledge about the world they live in a thousand science to unlock that and 200 hit uh, 2000 hit points 200 hit points to hey whatever so we could go for the observatory or we could just stick with these at the moment one hour is one science three quarters of an hour is 10 science that just sounds amazing to me so i'm thinking if we leave these at a reasonably high level and just wait for them to work their way through even more science and then unlock the next level of science maybe that's something we can work out doing um let's just check all of our water is filled up 2000 water we are just doing nuts we could even add four more of those around here and we know these are only taking gears and planks and we've got plenty of gears and planks on the way so let me let's maybe do that yeah we definitely need a way to store the power because like at night the power is continuing to go 
and we've got all this power going to waste. So I think that's what we're going to go for first which actually we can build the gravity battery now. So what I'm thinking of doing is what I'm going to call a power tower uh, using our gravity batteries that we've got here. And I'm going to build it up. It's going to be three by three. And we're going to use this spot here. And then it's going to need some space around for the batteries to drop. I'm going to give a shout out to a YouTube channel where I've seen a similar thing. Judd Man. Uh, he doesn't make videos anymore. Um, but if you go and check out their channel, if you want to say hi, uh, let them know that I've been uh, looking at their videos. So it's going to be a three by three. So one, two, three. I'm just sort of marking this out with the paths. So that's going to be the size. And then we're going to have the batteries on each side. So at the top, they'll be there, 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 and here. So the batteries will drop down there, 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 and there. And I think that's pretty much how it's going to work. So let's remove all of this. And then we'll start off with the floor. And we're going to get this thing going. Right, we're going to pop in a stair there. So we're going to go there. We're going to go there. And then we're going to go another stair, which is going to go up that way. And I'm glad we've got a lot of gears and plastic because we are going to be using a lot of high powered shafts I think a corner piece here so we can get the power in and out and then over the top we're going to do that got to remember to keep the paths going as well there we go so they're going to have the paths to go around and it's sort of going to alternate between gears and paths as the floors go up that's going to go here and then we want another one of the gears that lift up the high powered shafts on here excellent and then i guess we want a corner piece in there as well very good to connect that up and then it's basically rinse and repeat all the way up so i'm gonna add i mean how high can we go i, mean, I don't know is there a build limit on here or can we just keep on going mm, let's just keep on going and see what happens two hours later well, there we go we're getting higher i am i'm thinking just gonna go all the way up to build limit but at some point <laughs> we're gonna run out of gears and things <laughs> We've only got nine gears left. I don't know where they're all going at the moment. Oh, I know where they've all gone. They're all going into these. Ooh. Yeah, I'll tell you what we're going to possibly do is I'm going to pause that. I'm going to pause that and we'll leave that one because it's pretty much got everything in it already. We'll set this one to water as we want that in there. And then we've got the flood or the drought or whatever. Yeah, the, the drought, not the flood, coming in a couple of days. <gasps> And then everything can go into this. This is going to keep them busy for a while. Oh, I just had the brainwave of working out how high we can go. I just placing the load of these down just to see. And that is the limit. So I don't want to go any higher than that. So we've got <laughs> a fair way to go. I feel like this is a complete waste of resources and time at the level that we're at. But I just want to do it. I am really, really hoping I've not messed this up any way up here at all because having to take all this thing apart and rebuild it all is going to be a bit of a pain. I feel like I've gone wrong there already. Hang on. Yeah, I've missed that one there, haven't I? Oh, that was close. That was close. Yeah, I think this is the height that we're going to go to. We're going to just remove this last one here. And then we're going to place... Let's just control click on there. Place our final step. Right, so we've got this flat all along the top. Um, I need to get right into the centre there and add some of these. Uh, <laughs> can I get in there to the ground? Oh, there we go. We can do it. One, two. Just build this until we get all the way up to there. One more, maybe. Uh, yeah, there we go. Excellent. So now we're going to hook into this cog that's on the side here. And we're going to use one of these. And that is going to bring the power out of the top like that Whew. and then i think we're going to put our batteries on the top so let's unlock those yeah we've got enough science and they've been using metal blocks as well 10 each 10 20 30 we've got enough which is excellent yeah we're going to unlock that very good very good one is going to hang over the side there next one is going to hang over the side there that's going to go there and then eventually one's going to go here but we've obviously got to connect all of this up and i'm thinking oh yeah because when we do this one the power is going to go into that and then it's going to get transferred all around and then wow this thing is going to get huge amounts of power let's delete this other tower here that we don't need so what i want to do before the drought hits on the next day is make sure that we've got enough builders and haulers thank you very much we've got some in there anybody who's pumping water is going to be taken off that job and 
put into our builders and haulers as well it probably would be a good idea to have these builders huts spread out but at the moment we're fine with what we've got let's have a look what else have we got over here hauling post yeah so as the beavers grow up we'll uh we'll start transferring their jobs over and as we get enough items we'll start getting them to do this as well and then what i'm thinking we'll do uh with this area is they're going to be bringing the items in why don't we well, good grief why why don't we just set all this at a higher priority can i not just grab the whole lot uh well i seem to have grabbed everything down there if i grab that and go like this yeah okay this <laughs> this is gonna work out the way i thought it was clickety click 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 ah! Okay, having maniacally clicked everywhere, I think we're ready for a beaver building time lapse. And let's see how this goes. And we survived the drought, which is absolutely fantastic. I've discovered you can get 30 speed mode, which is good for when you're just doing stuff like this. I'm not using it for any other reason, just so we can get through this build. And I can actually not be 100 when, <laughs> when it's finished. Look at them. They're going like the clappers. I love it. Do you know this is actually quite satisfying because it means i've got my colony really well balanced because i'm just having to let it run and it's all going okay we've got plenty of food we've got plenty of water we can survive a drought it's just absolutely brilliant just to sit back and watch this thing lift up to the heavens it's humongous oh look at that we're almost there i reckon another couple of days and we'll be there Oh, 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 another drought or something coming. Let's come out of that view. Drought approaching in three days. I think we're going to be fine, to be honest. I'm feeling a little bit overconfident <laughs> with the amount of food and the water we've got. Oh, there we go. Oh, the first gravity battery's in. 54,000 H hamsters per permit. I have no idea what that stands for. Oh, so that's actually already come with some stored power, isn't it? Because it's the fact that that drops that it turns the gears around. And then when there's spare power, it will lift it back up again. And that stores the power because then when the weight drops it turns the gears and we know obviously that the gear turning is the thing that gives us the power so that already comes with all that power stored in there which i didn't realize oh they built that last thing there excellent oh we survived the drought we're at cycle 13 which is great and i think this gravity battery is about to go in and then we just need to pop the last one in so we've got enough planks it's just our gear production is a little bit slow but everything else in here looks like it's all okay and then what we need to do is connect this thing oh that's why the power isn't being used oh okay let's just connect this thing up let's just slow down to a normal human speed again i want to build across here and connect here i think there we go like that i feel like there's probably a better way of doing this but at the minute this is what we're going to do until my brain kicks in and tells me anything different i want a corner one there excellent so that'll come down and go around and then this can connect somehow <laughs> into all of this uh that we've got going on here um let me just work out how that's going to go so if we go there there and there then we can switch this out for a corner piece like that that'll be good wouldn't it we'll put that on maximum because that's going to stop everything else going oh they've got that going they've got has, has it going at the top <gasps> oh we've got them all in apart from this one here it needs a few more gears we're going with the gears this is exciting and then i'm going to pop the last oh i've also realized of course why this isn't working it's not just because that isn't connected it's because it isn't connected to that cog in the middle which is going to be the final test to make sure that i've done all this darn thing correctly now that one's gone in oh it is look it's all turning oh <gasps> we've done it right this is all connected up oh my goodness me i'm so pleased that i didn't miss any of the cogs in this power wheel of amazingness good grief so that's three of those uh up there but none of them are connected at the minute so i believe what i need to do now let's just come out of that mode is delete that uh, add another one of these on there no we want to add a smaller one on there and then add another one of these here and as we said before that will then hook into that gear and the fact that these are all touching will mean that we'll have all the power in the world oh there we go it's just been built fantastic let's have a look so that now should be connected to this one which should be connected to everything so when we need power 
they're going to start dropping down and of course at the moment we're making more power so we're supplying 920 and we only need 490 but if any of these stop and that figure drops below our demand then these things up the top here will start dropping down and pulling all the cogs and providing the power for us oh man that is absolutely fan flipping tastic look at it look at that so now with all of this running and this amount i mean we've, we've literally got free power already stored up in these so when we're short of power oh we've got a bad tide oh good grief yeah we've got to make sure we still pay attention to the rest of the game so we don't end up dying for something silly um yes so what i'm gonna do is yeah what well, <laughs> completely lost my train of thought what i was going to say was i didn't realize it comes with that power oh it's already being used a bit look it's dropping so this must be slowly moving down it's really hard to see but it's being used anyway and that one and that one and that one okay so it'd be interesting to see whether if we get a long bad tide which means we'll be turning all of this off that we still get a load of a load of power through our system here oh it's just going great How's that one going there? Yep, that's going to get the water in as well. So how about with all the food and everything that we've got, that we try and increase the amount of beavers that we've got living here? I'm just wondering whether we could fit some housing over here. That would be good. We've got these triple lodges that we've never sort of built before, which could be quite good. And if we spin those around, is that upstairs? Oh, it gets in upstairs rather than downstairs. Oh, okay. So maybe that's the sort of thing we can put up against the side here like that and they will get in i mean we could do that one there and we could do like one there and then we've got to run like a path over here somewhere so if we run that say to there not that one not that one easy now fella and then we grab some stairs from somewhere there's some stairs in here isn't there yoink i've yoinked the stairs there we go pick a pick out we'll get that in there and then we can just literally run this there we go like that and that will hold nine 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 eighteen extra beavers we'll be getting with all of that when that's made and then maybe sort of and we've got water over here really i think with these i should be sort of dotting them around the place so they don't have to travel so far so i'm going to grab another one of these and we're going to just try and set things up a little bit better and then we could use this space here for some food storage which looking at the size of the space could just be three little ones like that going in there we go and we could add something else here as well and then as they come along here to grab all these items they're going to go past a well-being thing uh, what could we put down here that will fit in i mean if we pop another beaver statue in here that would be good not too expensive and that gives a great coverage for everybody sleeping and staying in there and then i'm just thinking about on the top I mean, if we could get some sort of way for them to get up here, we've got the rooftop terraces. We could do that, and then that, and then that, and they can get it. You built it already. That is just, you're so on the ball, I tell you. You're just magnificent. So they would get that benefit for everybody sleeping in here. Oh my giddy aunt, it is full up already. What? So we got 71 beavers which is a bit nuts getting up to 100 i feel like we're gonna have a lot of things we need to look after here and i'm hoping that we've got enough water and food to last the next bad tide which i'm not quite sure what it is yet oh these been lifted up again with the excess power they have we are storing the power that is great with all their hamsters hamsters per hour oh the st statue's in have a quick sip of tea while we wait for the bad tide four days i don't for a minute think that four days is going to be a bad bad tide i think we'll be okay and i'm just looking at how we've got all our power set up we could remove this path and have other buildings along here because where does that one go well that one goes to there which is a bit annoying we might oh we can always add a cog just going across can't we from the top or something like that over there or connect to one of these cogs so we've got plenty of space over there and space for more crops as well um this i don't think we need anymore so we're going to delete that i don't know who was working in there nobody could delete that as well and i think we're about to get the stairs in for us need a couple of more planks there we go that one's in how about we unlock a bench we've got so much science oh look at that that looks great which way should we have that facing i feel like we want to face it oh we could do one there and then we can do another one there and then we could do another one there on the top of that oh look at that this is going to be a lovely little area to come and hang out and relax getting the food i forgot we've actually got all this food stored up here, but that's a little bit further away um we could connect these two areas together 
which I think would be a good idea. So if we go like that, any way to keep the maneuvering around working well? <gasps> what have I done? What have I done? Oh my goodness. I completely forgot. Oh my life. I've got completely carried away with what I'm doing. Everything is filled with the bad water. Oh my life. And there's no point closing this down now. I've got 2.3 days to go. I've got plenty of water. And I mean, I can stop these and just free up some beavers. Oh my life. They're all going through the flipping... Have I just taken on the biggest project known to beaver kind increased our beavers and then just killed a load of them off oh man what have i done i oh, I, can't, I just absolutely can't believe how stupid i've been everything is dying all of our food what have we got it died dies in a 0.4 days they died they died all of this is dead 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 these are okay because we've got this here this doesn't get contaminated i need to just block this off don't i for it if i just put a levy there just to stop any more of this coming in that might be a good idea oh, i just can't believe what i've done I think I might have just absolutely killed my entire beaver colony. Wow. And you're going to have to come back next. To stop swimming in the water. And you're going to have to come back next episode to see whether that is actually the case. Thank you very much for watching. Can we do it? I don't know. Can I survive? What? Oh, I've got my hands on my head, literally. I can't believe it. Okay, I'm out. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>